All right, time for the math. Easy solution and discuss uh, the circle. Uh, basically, look at this equation and uh, prove that the equation is actually of a circle. What I mean by that is, here's the equation of a circle. If you have x minus a squared plus, let's say, y minus b squared equals basically radius squared. And this, what this is, yeah, so what this is saying, if you have uh, basically this is y and x axis. Your circle is going to be something like somewhere around here. Ba basically, these a and b is basically the shifting of of where the circle is. Let's call this y. That's x. So basically, the center point is is at a and b, which are these two here. I'll show you how to prove that. So basically. Uh, the x-axis shifts a towards here and then the b is this one right here and then this r is actually the radius so this is r and it's er, er, throughout this whole thing so to prove that it's this well let's uh, just rearrange this equation so if we rearrange it for for y we'll basically we'll just write this as um, so this y minus uh, b all squared is going to equal to, well, r squared. Is, I'm just shifting over the other one. x minus a squared. Then if we square root this whole thing, we're going to get y minus b. Well, if we just square root, square root everything, we're going to get, well, this is a plus or minus, because in, inside it be positive or negative, it's going to turn to positive. So we're going to have plus or minus r squared minus x minus a squared and then shift move the a move the y by itself we're gonna get plus or minus r squared minus x x minus a squared and then shift over the, the b so plus b so this is the equation of this is the equation for the y side and so basically if you write y it's it's, it's actually two equations so you're gonna have um, I was just gonna write we're gonna have x minus a squared. Yeah, so basically, uh, you have two equations because there's a plus or minus because we have to square root um, a squared function. So basically, this is you could write this as let's say plus b plus. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have b plus r squared minus x minus a squared and and also r plus. I mean r minus. So basically what this is actually, this is a, each of these is equation of a semicircle. So basically if you draw the axis. Yeah, so if we look at this, uh, this y equation right here, basically uh, if we put in, let's say our, this is going to be b, so we're, we're always shifting up b, so we're just going to go, let's say, b here. So then if we were to look at this separate one right here, this, this uh, function, r squared minus this is x minus a. So basically, the largest it could be is dependent on this. this is a constant. So basically, when this is zero, you get your highest function. So basically, when x equals a, and then then you're gonna get r squared. So when x equals a, this this side right here becomes, yeah, just becomes r squared or equals r. So basically, at let's say a x equals a. This is x equals a. We're basically gonna get so yeah at, at at x equals a we're gonna get y is equal to well b plus or minus r so it equals b plus r and b minus r so it's right here this is so basically that's all it is if let's say r is something like here so we're gonna have this is b plus r this is from here to here is r so this is b plus r. And then over and then over here is going to be this one's this one's here is b minus r. So we're going to have a point right here and a point right here. So now if we look at this one to get where it's actually flat here, basically we have points here. So if we look at the lowest point of basically this function here, the lowest point, we saw the maximum point for x minus a squared so the maximum is when x equals a but then the minimum is basically when this whole thing goes to zero so when when this this goes to zero or r squared this one's equal to zero this is the minimum this is uh, the minimum of this 
minimum. So basically, uh, if we rearrange this one, this is basically x. So x minus a squared has to equal to r squared. And then if you square root this, x, x is equal to, well, plus or minus r. So x minus a is equal to plus or minus r. So what, the, what this means here, well, yeah, what this means you could actually just uh, rearrange it. So x is equal to, well, a plus or minus r. So, so what the, this means here, this is at the lowest point. So then if we look at x, uh, so let, let, let's look at, it's basically, this is going to equal to, well, at a is plus r and a minus r, we get the minimum, minimum of y. So this, this goes to zero, and we're just going to be left with y is equal to, well, b plus or minus this, but then this goes to zero, so we're just going to be equal to b. So at these points, y is equal to b. So let's look at a plus r. This is x equals a, and this is a plus r. Let's just say what's over there, and this is a minus r and it equals to b. And the, the plus or minus, uh, this basically signifies, this is just a semicircle. This is for, this, this equation is y is equal to plus or minus square root, this is r squared minus x minus a squared plus b. And this is, this is a plus, this is the plus side. And then the, the negative is just, it's just subtracting every single one. So this is actually semi-circle. Here, I just uh, redrew a better circle here. So basically, this top part is the semi-circle. And the bottom one is the, yeah, this is this one is y is equal to basically negative r squared minus x minus a all squared plus b. So now, now the question is, well, if we know these are distance r's, how do we know this is r, like from random one here? How do you know this is actually a semicircle? I'll show you a little proof. So now here I'll show a proof that all points in the circle are distance r from the center. From these little stuff, when we look at the minimum and maximum, we prove that these outer regions, this one, this is r, this distance. Yeah, we prove these two, but then from like, let's say a random point here and here, how do we prove that? So this is what I'm gonna show. So to prove it, let's look at the, um, basically the equation of a circle, which is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared, that's radius. And if we were to graph it out here, let's here's just how it would look like, this is where a and b is. So we know that the center is a and b. And I, and I showed that the maximum and minimum points, like, of each function, because these are two functions, is actually this This is distance r from there, and this is distance r. So basically, yeah, and these are, these equations here, this one could be written as y is equal to, well, I already, uh, already rearrange it up uh, above, so it's going to be plus or minus r squared minus x minus a squared, and then we just plus b. So this is the, the equation of it. So basically, let's say if we have random point here, this is at x and a, and then x and y. How do we prove that this is r? So we will we'll, we'll find out. So yeah, if we uh, draw a right angle triangle here, and we'll just call this um, we'll, we'll call this delta x, and delta y, and this is delta x. Delta, delta y and delta x, and we'll just call this value here c. And remember, a right angle triangle, if you basically have something like this, it's A, B, C, when using Pythagoras, we get C squared is equal to A, A squared plus B squared. So we're going to derive what C is right here. So basically, uh, we're going to write down, so we'll uh, write down delta Y squared plus delta X squared is equal to C squared in this case. So we're going to find out what C is. Basically, delta y is equal to, well, is this going to equal to y minus b? Because that's all it is, is this difference between these two. That's, this is y here all the way, and this is b. And this is b, so we subtract 2. So this is y minus b, all squared. And then this one's going to be, well, this one, x is right here, and a is over there. So basically here, this one's, uh, 
you could either have a minus x or x minus a. So we'll, we'll just write down x minus a. We'll get a negative number, but it doesn't matter. Equals c squared. So y squared is equal to, well, this one. This is this plus b. So we're just going to, they're going to cancel. But if you just put this inside, we'll just put in the plus or minus. This is r squared minus x minus a squared. This is plus b minus b all squared. Then just write down the rest. x minus a squared is equal to c squared. Actually, yeah. Yeah, so then uh, these two cancel. And then the square roots cancel here. This plus or minus gets out because whatever is inside a, a squared is gonna, doesn't matter if it's negative 2 squared is equal to 4. Even if it's a plus equal to 4, it doesn't matter. So it's negative plus. So they'll just get rid of it. So we'll get we'll left with r squared minus x minus a squared plus x minus a squared is equal to c squared. And as you can see, these cancel. This is a negative, this is a plus. So these cancel. And then uh, basically we're left with r squared equals c squared. Or c is equal to r. You can do plus or minus, but negative r doesn't make sense in our case. So basically there you have it. This is the radius. So basically we proved the, that c is equal to r. Yeah, and it, it could be, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is, that's that's correct. So now let's look at uh, some examples. So uh, here's an example. I'm going to write the equation of a circle with the radius 4, 4 whatever, uh, and it's at the center, uh, and, and the center's at the origin, or at at x equals 0, y equals 0. It's basically at the center of the, the axis. So basically, what, what this is actually is just, yeah, so all this is is uh, just a circle around, about the center this is zero zero and this is radius is four so basically if we look at the yeah all we do is look at the original equation and basically we know that yeah so we know this is the original equation and then at a and b are the centers so that's a center so basically but in this case it's going to be equal to zero zero so a equals zero b equals zero and r in this case is equal to four so all we do is just write well, x, x squared plus y squared equals 4 squared, or equals 16. So basically, this is our equation of a circle at the origin with the radius 4. So yeah, it's, it's really easy. Just once you get a hang of it, um, we'll use this, this basic equation. So this actually encompasses two equations, which is that y equals plus or minus uh, square root whatnot. So basically, uh, this is the proof that every point in a circle is actually uh, this distance r from it well thanks for uh, watching hopefully you learned about circles and um, stay tuned for another math easy